Hey, this is Shane Dahl of Shaping Concepts and ShaneDahlFitness.com and today the topic I want to talk to you about is on insulin. And basically this is my insulin one-on-one -on -one talk. And I thought this would be a good idea because uh, I was just talking with a friend the other day and you know, it, it, we were talking about fat loss and different strategies and we were talking about insulin and you know, he's like, Shane, I think I get insulin but I really don't completely understand what it is. It was, he was getting confused with car carbohydrate and I was like, you know what, I need to do a little talk on this. And, I'm not the best drawer in the world, but I do my you know, my little sketches. Hopefully, this will help you to understand it better. But here's the whole thing. I wanted to make sure you understood. Insulin is very important. I talk a lot about it. Insulin resistance, insulin sensitivity. I want you to understand what it is, what it does, and you know, uh, just have a clear picture of what's going on in your body. Okay. So anytime we have, you know, we eat food, and obviously it's going into our stomach. It's going to get broken down. Uh, smaller particles coming into our gastrointestinal tract. Uh, what happens is when you have carbohydrate, and I'm going to talk about, it doesn't matter if it's a good carb, bad carb, you know, whether it's anything from fruits and vegetables uh, to the, you know, the stuff that's not so good for us to refine processed carbs, sugar, sweets, whatnot. Everything gets broken down into glucose. It's, it's the simplest form. All, all carbohydrates, regardless, come down into that form. So as you digest and you break down food, your body can only use so much of that glucose at any given point in time for immediate energy needs. So what doesn't get used, your body's going to store. Okay. Now, for enable for your body to to store this glucose, it has to has it has to have something that's going to actually transport it. You got to have something that's going to actually store it, and that's what insulin does. Okay. Insulin. That's why I did my little drawing here, like these little rail cars. Uh, if you can see this, that insulin is in essence the transporter. It's what carries the glucose. Carbohydrate, which is your glucose, is what gets carried by the insulin. So hopefully that makes sense. Now here's the thing. If insulin's not necessarily a bad thing, if, if our bodies didn't produce insulin, what would happen is you would just have all this excess sugar in your blood, and that's not a good thing. Your body has to do something with it. And I want you to think about it. You know, if there's a lot of sugar in your blood, it's going to get thick. That's why, you know, maple syrup, that's sugar and water, you know, thick it is, that's what your blood would be like if we didn't have insulin. That's why things like, you know, type 2 diabetes, uh, whatnot, is very dangerous from a heart and, and why heart disease and heart problems are so, they go hand in hand because the thicker your blood gets, the harder it is for your heart to have to try to pump that blood through. So uh, insulin in and of itself isn't a bad thing, it's just what happens is, is our body develops uh, what's called insulin resistance or we have very low insulin sensitivity. And that's not a good thing, because what in essence it does is it puts us in a fat storing state, uh, keeps us addicted to sugars, and it's, it creates a whole other host of problems. But So understand now that, that insulin is just the carrier, okay? And glucose, which is carbohydrate, it's basically the load. Now there's only a couple places, I'm going to swing around here, there's only a couple places that um, your body can transport uh, this carbohydrate to. And the first place is your liver. So it's going to go to your liver. It's just going to carry it to your liver. And your liver is going to say, okay, hey, we can use it. Or, no, we can't use it. we got enough. Move on. Uh, muscle cells. There again, that's what more lean muscle we have. The easier it is to, to, to stay lean or to get lean. Uh, the muscle cell is, is where uh, we can use that glucose for fuel, for energy. Um, if you go there and they say, hey, we've got enough. Muscle cells, we've got enough. Move on. The problem is that it keeps getting rejected. It's got a load. Insulin's carrying a load. It's just taking the glucose and says, who wants it? You know, it's, where's it going to take it to? What storage yard wants it? If there's no place to take it, there's no immediate energy needs, there's no place to store it, guess what happens? We got fat storage. We're going to promote fat storage. Now, it's a misconception to think that glucose just automatically gets dumped into a fat cell. It doesn't happen. It's a little more complicated than that. But just know, from a simplicity standpoint, that if we can't use... The, the carbohydrate and there's no place left to store you're going to promote fat storage okay which isn't a good thing that's why uh, specifically if I talk about insulin resistance what happens is, is over time uh, if your cells are continuing under the the influence of insulin so that you you have a lot of high carbohydrate uh, based foods in your diet so you're, you're constantly releasing insulin over time your cells the receptors just don't respond to it anymore so they, they basically just block it and your body doesn't know any difference, so it's going to just keep sending out more insulin. It just keep sending more real cars. Okay, well, you must need more. And there again, and that, that's what you end up developing a very low sensitivity to it. 
your body keeps sending out more, this is not a good thing, okay? It keeps us in a fat storing state. It keeps us, you know, it promotes addiction to sugar and to carbs. You get on this hamster wheel where we want sugars, we need sugar, we eat it, it raises insulin, uh, your blood sugar drops again, and then we crave it more. We've got serotonin levels with our brain, the craving. So uh, that's why when I'm saying I want you to have foods, um, uh, more proteins, more healthy omega-3 fats, we want to bring down that carbohydrate in your diet. And this is especially um, very, very important for people who have low insulin sensitivity or somewhat degree of insulin resistance. Uh, it, it's very important we really bring those foods down in the diet so we can, get, we can get the cells reprogrammed. We can get you to start using proteins and fats we can, and we can quit rejecting uh, the, the load of this carbohydrates. We, we, we quit rejecting insulin. So. There it is. Hopefully it makes sense. Um, I didn't overcomplicate it, but if you have any questions at all, um, certainly always just feel free to shoot me an email and we will talk soon. All right. Thanks a lot.